partial factors of safety. The causes of errors and inaccuracy during the analysis of reinforced concrete structures can be due to the design assumptions and inaccuracy of the calculations. Also, it can be due to the possible unusual increase in the magnitude of the actions, unforeseen stress redistributions, and construction inaccuracy. For that, the partial factors of safety are applied in order to cater for such errors and inaccuracy. The partial factors of safety is a tolerance that applies to the materials and strength. It is applied to the material in the mode of the partial factor of safety or material and applied to the actions in the mode of partial factor of safety of actions. The design strength of the material will be the characteristic strength divided by the partial factor of safety. With that, you are designing the element with a lower material strength than its characteristic strength. This provides allowance to the materials to reach its characteristic strength. As for the action, the design actions is determined by multiplying the characteristic actions with the partial factor of safety. Therefore, your design actions are normally greater than the characteristic action. With this partial factor of safety, the reinforced concrete elements are designed with a slight conservative manner. This equation shows the design compressive strength and the tensile strength of the concrete. It is the function of the characteristic compressive strength divided with partial factor of safety of concrete material. As for the tension strength, it is characteristic axial tensile strength divided by the partial factor of safety of the concrete. There is an alpha CC and alpha CT there. These are the coefficients of long-term effect and of unfavorable effect of loading acting on the concrete. Alpha CC and alpha CT is normally taken as 1.0. A more exact number can be referred to the national annex which range between 0 0.8 to 1.0. The partial factor of safety of the materials can be obtained from table 2.1 in Eurocode 2. It is classified based on the type of material, which are the concrete, the reinforcing steel, and pre-stressing steel. There are two main types of the design situations. For the persistence and transition conditions, the partial factor of safety of concrete is 1.5. As for the accidental design situations, the partial factor of safety is 1.2. The definitions of these terms are given here. The persistence design situation refers to the normal use. The transition situation refers to the temporary conditions, such as during the excavations or repair. As for the accidental, it is referring to exceptional conditions, such as fire, explosions, impact, or the consequences of localized failure. The partial factor of safety for reinforcing steel is 1.15 for transient and persistence consistent and 1.0 for the accidental design situation.